It was a Yumbo Visma show of force. I'm talking about Walt Van Art helping his teammate, French teammate, Christophe Laporte, win here in Wevelgem at the Ghent Wevelgem. A 1-2 victory that we saw last year in the E3 Pre and that we also saw in Paris Nice when it was a 1-2-3, adding in the name also Primoz Rolich. Massive, massive boost for the team of Yumbo Visma. Walt Van Art just won on Friday the E3 Priest himself. His first road race victory of the season. And this ride today sets up the team well for the Tour of Flanders coming next Sunday. The big Belgian monument, the cobbled monument. Today here in Wevelgem, it was the Ghent Wevelgem and a chance for Van Art to help his teammate Laporte to victory. And victory was sweet because they won here in Wevelgem with around about two minutes lead. And we saw around two kilometers to go. Walt Van Art tapped his teammate on the back and said, Christoph, you got this victory. This victory is for you. But it didn't come easy because it was a hard day of racing. Around about 45 degrees Fahrenheit out here, rain and winds all day. We saw 14 men work free early on. That group was caught, and it was caught around about the time we saw Nathan Van Hoyduck Jumbo Visma attacking up the road in a group behind. There was Christoph Laporte. That group came together with the work of Sudal Quickstep pulling things together and Casper Asgren. Then the second time up to Kemmelberg, Walt Van Art started to hit the gas and he rode away. And in his wheel was Christophe Laporte. The two were never seen again until here at the finish line. It was a massive show of strength by the two. And behind Nathan Van Hoydunk was working in the group for their sprinter Olaf Koy in the hopes to say a one, two, three for the team. That didn't happen, but what did happen was up front, those two riders rode free and behind nothing could be done. We had the team of Trek Sigafredo working for Mads Pedersen. We had the team of Israel Premier Tech with Seth Van Marken there and American Magnus Sheffield riding so good with Ben Turner. Tall Big Ben working for him today over the climbs, the Kabul Kemmelberg that marks this race. On the third time up the Kemmelberg, Walt Van Aert nearly dropped his teammate and had to look around at the top and look back for his teammate to make sure he was still there. And he was, he rejoined and they rode that final 30 kilometers here to the finish. They had around about one minute gap up at the top of the final time of the Kemmelberg and that gap grew to around two minutes here to the finish line. Back behind, we had multiple attacks. We saw Mikel Berg from UAE going off the front with Jonathan Navarez marking his wheel. We saw the crash of Matej Morohic in a roundabout coming into the sprint. Seth Van Mark was able to pick up third place. Coming into the sprint, we had a group that was working with Mikel Berg, but behind, Mats Pedersen was bridging up. He bridged to the group, started the sprint early for the third place, but instead, it was Seth Van Mark who picked up the podium spot. But the story of the day is Jumbo Visma domination. So strong, Walt Van Aert just coming off of his first road race win of the season in the E3 on Friday. And now here today helping Christophe Laporte take victory. And it bodes well for the team that also includes Dylan Van Barles. They head into Sunday, the Tour of Flanders, and that's the big one, the big Belgian monument. And it's gonna be an important one. And that's where Walt Van Aert wants to take victory. He's gonna to have to battle Matthew Vanderpool, Tade Pogachar, and so many other riders. And today, Jumbo Visma showed that they're ready for the task. Jumbo Visma domination and Christoph Laporte victory.